check out the Deity BP TRX. These things are incredible. They are an all-in-one transmitter, receiver, recorder. They can record up to 128 hours on a micro SD card. They have a built-in guardrail analog limiter. They boast up to 12 hours of battery life. We've got 24-bit audio transmitted at multiple RF outputs, and best of all, it records and transmits at the same time. These things are incredible. They are a all-in-one Swiss Army knife audio tool for wedding filmmakers. The BBTRX is a combination recorder, receiver, and transmitter, all in one. This is the time code kit. It comes with two of these, as well as all the cables you will need, as well as two microphones. So this thing is a great deal. Many of your cameras might not receive a time code, but many cameras do, such as the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema cameras. Time code basically allows you to lock in your sync by sharing the same time code on every single one of your devices. And a time code generator will basically jam time code into the camera. Deity boasts a 0.02 ppm accuracy. Basically, these things are promising that your footage will only drift one frame every 24 hours if you use the time code settings to sync them all. That's crazy, and that will save you a ton of time, especially if you're doing a lot of multicamming. Deity boasts over 400 feet of range, but in our tests, we were able to get considerable more than 400 feet. And honestly, what wedding filmmaker really needs more than 400 feet of range on their transmitters? It records in 24-bit, I'm not gonna go down my tangent about 32-bit float, by the way. It's a cool technology, but let's be honest. Your noise floor is too high already. You can't even fully take advantage of it. You know what's just as good as 32-bit float for you? An analog limiter. In my experience, by the way, the analog limiter sounds great. Very natural, I love it. Um, and the microphones that are included also sound great. Very nice, very high quality. What's also incredible is these can transmit and record all in the same unit. Remind you of something? Both of these BP TRXs feature a metal housing. Compared to a lot of the standalone recorders many of you are used to, like a Tascam DR10 or a Zoom F2, or even the Rode Go 2s, these are kind of bulky, but when you come from the world that may be using a Sennheiser receiver transmitter, they're actually a pretty standard size, about the size of a deck of cards here. I don't think they're too big, and I've put them on several grooms with no issues. This thing is kind of like the Swiss army knife of audio tools. Let's talk about a couple ways you can use this thing because I think you gotta kind of see it and visualize it to kind of get the imagination. The first one is a standard transmitter and receiver. You might put one of these on an officiant or a groom and maybe either plug the receiver into your camera or maybe into a recorder such as a Sound Devices Mix P3 or a Tascam or any all these various units that many of us are using. The second way we might use it is a transmitter recorder plus receiver. Maybe you put it on your camera and you're transmitting from a microphone to the camera plus recording at the same time. The other thing you might do is use them as two standalone recorders. So if you buy a pack of these, such as the time code kit, which comes with two of these and two microphones, you can actually turn them into standalone recorders. Another way you might use this is making this your transmitter and plugging it directly into the DJ sound system, bringing the volume levels down so that you can take a line level signal, recording directly on this, and then transmitting to maybe a recorder somewhere else, maybe your camera directly, maybe you're just monitoring it within your microphones. Some of the advanced features on this thing are when you really start to go nuts. So imagine this. What if I was to tell you that you could take a signal directly from the sound system, maybe run it into like a Sound Devices Mix Pre 3, maybe feed one of these in master transmitter mode from the stereo out, then feed three different cameras, audio and time code, and give yourself a little pack in your pocket to monitor audio with at the same time. That's right, you can connect up to five of these together in camera hop mode and IEM mode. Why would I wanna do that? Well, imagine having perfect syncing audio and time code with all of your cameras and being able to walk around and actually hear what's going into the cameras. One of the biggest downfalls of a lot of the recorders that many of us are used to, such as the Zoom F2 or the Tascam DR10, is the fact that you really, you can't review what you're doing. You can't listen to the audio. And one of the downfalls of many of the transmitters out there is that maybe the signals aren't super reliable. So when you're dealing with something like this, you're getting the best of both worlds because you have a recorder with a limiter and the ability to monitor the audio at the same time. And the bonus is time code. The fact that it can do so many things for some of you might be a little intimidating. And make no mistake, this is not for beginners. Although I do think anyone can learn to use them. They are a little more complicated than your average receiver, transmitter, because they can do so many things. I think it's totally worth it though to learn the menus because they're pretty powerful.
A lot of you might be saying, I don't need all that stuff. Or maybe I don't think I wanna do all those things. Here's the cool thing. You can just buy two of these, transmit and record on one of them, receive on the other, or maybe use both of them as standalone recorders, and you can build the system over time. Think about that. This is extensible. So before we move on, I wanna address something here because I think many of you are gonna be saying, oh, a stereo transmitter that also records? That's kinda of like the Rode Go 2. And I will say this, for features, in a lot of ways, it is like the Rode Go 2. But I would say this is like the Rode Go 2 on steroids. These things are incredible. Um, the fact that they have an analog limiter is a big improvement. The fact that you can turn each of these into whatever you want is a big improvement. If you buy three of these, you can do stereo transmitting, or you can turn them all into standalone recorders, whatever you want to do. The other thing I think that is a huge improvement is the ability to actually record and transmit line level signals. Why is that important? If you don't know, there are basically two levels of audio you're gonna be getting in the field. There's gonna be microphone level audio, which is significantly quieter, and it's actually what most standalone recorders and the Rode Go 2 want to see. If you give it a line level signal, you run the risk of peaking it out and causing serious problems in post. The BPTRX has no such limitation. It's got so much gain, and it's got so much controls, you can dial in that signal. You can record and transmit almost any signal that you could get your hands on with one of these things. It is incredible, it's a do-it-all tool. In terms of how it sounds and functions, we got to use this on the field for a couple weddings. Um, we also have tested the range. Hey guys, we're at a random baseball field and we're gonna test the range right now. So the BBTRX is supposed to be 100 meters max range, around like 320 feet or so. Most wedding filmmakers are never gonna have someone 320 feet away, but we're gonna just check it out. Let's check out the range on this thing. Here we are, BBTRX around 50 feet distance. Um, sounds great still. Here we are at 100 feet, still got a great signal, and I'm always impressed by how this microphone and how this transmitter sounds. It's so clean and have the ability to adjust your output gain and your input gain and all those things, I think makes a big difference. Here we are at 200 feet away. We're about 200 feet away and the BP TRX still sounds pristine, incredibly good. Um, we got a little wind going now and we can hear that the included windscreen is doing a pretty good job covering up this wind, which we know at weddings, that really matters. We're about 300 feet away and we are getting a perfect signal still. And, and here's what I love about this. It has a, an antenna that has variable power levels, which allows it to really adjust to what the needs are. And it's just such cool technology. You really wanna have more power than you need. So if you're gonna be setting up like a couple hundred feet away, maybe a hundred feet away, you really wanna have enough power for 200 feet because that's gonna give you enough power to deal with when people are turning around, moving around, maybe things get obstructed. Having all this extra power on your transmitter and your receiver just makes a huge difference. As you can see, we're at the top of the range and this thing is still going strong. So the BPTRX boasts a range of about 328 feet. That's their max range that they say. Um, we're about 300 feet right here and so far we haven't really been able to get it to break. Minor breakups maybe, but very, very, very solid connection. So we're just going to try to break this thing and see how far can we really push it if it was a straight line of sight. So we're about 400 feet. We're well over the max range that they've listed at and we're still getting a pretty good signal. I'm just going to keep going until this thing breaks. 500 feet, still kicking. Hello? Can you hear it now? Okay, I'm just going to say... Okay. So we're at about 600 feet now. We've kind of pushed the limits. We're cutting in, we're cutting out, but luckily I can switch it to recording mode. As you can see, the range is pretty awesome. So let's get down to brass tacks because at the end of the day, why would you want anything else but this? I know for some of you, maybe the size will really matter and maybe some of you are really big believers in 32 bit floating point. I don't really think those should be things that should dissuade you. This is such a useful tool. So for many of you guys, the choice is gonna be between the Rode Go 2 and something like this. The Rode Go 2 with two transmitters and one receiver is $299. It does not include a microphone. The DD BPTRX time code kit, which includes two of these units and two microphones, runs at around $470. That's a little more expensive, but when you think about the fact that I can just extend this system and that when I get a Rode Go 2, A, I have to buy microphones, and B, it's kind of the end of the system. If I get two of these, I can get three more and combine them all together in all kinds of fun ways. 
And for me, as a professional, I don't mind spending more to get more. The other thing that's great about these products is they work with a whole range of Deity Connect products as well. So you can kind of mix and match. It's a great system. So who is this for? I think at this point, these are for filmmakers who are serious about audio and safety, who want to be able to record and transmit on one device. And I think they're also for someone who's really looking to solve those syncing problems that all of us have had to fix. While many of us are not using timecode, I think it's going to become something that increasingly fills the wedding world because of the benefits. And I really honestly think at $249 per unit, that you're dealing with something that you can grow with and grow over time and that all the features that this thing has kind of stand alone on the market. There's nothing like it. The Deity BP TRX is the ultimate audio device for wedding filmmakers. I can't wait for you to get your hands on one. It's available for pre-order today and it should be shipping very, very soon. If you like this video, we would love it if you can subscribe, do all the YouTube stuff. We also have a weekly podcast and YouTube show for wedding filmmakers where we talk business and all kinds of things like that. And we have a weekly live stream where Bobby, Jared and I do film critiques, pricing critiques, and just all kinds of stuff to help the community. So if you're into that stuff, like, subscribe, do all the things that YouTube says to do because we want you to see our videos. Have an awesome day.